in this video, we're going to talk about how to get sniper entries. I'm literally talking about those entries where you get in and you immediately go into profit. Yep, that's the entries we're going to talk about today. So when price is at like a resistance area, just like this, what you want to do is to draw a box around this consolidation. Like look at this, price going sideways, draw a box around it, alright? So whenever price is consolidating, just draw a damn box around it. Do not trade consolidation. I hate trading consolidation. So a lot of YouTubers will ask you to, oh, enter for the trade when price break out of the consolidation box. But that is not sniper entry, that is shit's entry, and we want to get sniper entry, right? So what we want to do is to go down to the 15 minute time frame, alright? 15 minute time frame. So if you want to get sniper entry, you must look at market structure. Here's what I mean. So right now, price is still consolidating, and I want to wait for price to show me some sort of lower high, right? Once I see some sort of lower high, that is when I know that, okay, price might be breaking out of this consolidation box and then that is when we can enter for the trade and that is what price is doing right now you can see price is creating a low high and over here price is just going sideways not going anywhere up and down up and down but then right here this high right here is lower than all of this you can see all of these highs this one is so damn low so this is where we can enter for a sniper entry so what we can even do is to like draw another box like right around this area here change the color to this one right here and now we want to wait for price to break through this small little box that we have drawn all right so we just wait 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 wait, wait. okay you can start to see like some sellers start to come in when you see this big fat red candlestick which tell us that there's a lot of sellers in the market right now so we can prepare to enter for the trade so we wait okay right here guys this is when price broke out of this consolidation box this small little consolidation box this is when price is going to continue and hit back down so this is when we can get in for our sell position right here and what i'll do is i'll place my stop loss above this last lower high because this is the last lower high and this is the last swing high so this is your structure so we always want to place your stop loss based on market structure so i'll place it a few pips above this last lower high for your take profit, what I like to do is to go to the one hour time frame and place my take profit at like the next major key level, alright? The next major key level is all the way down here, right? So we can put it all the way down here. And look at this. 1 is to 11 risk to reward ratio, boys. You are risking $1 to make $11. You are risking $1,000 to make $11,000. How mad is that? And right now, let's just look at what price is going to do next. And then we can go from there. Okay, you can see price go down. Alright, go down. Go down. Okay, right here, guys. You can see price went back up to retest the box. Okay, so at this point of time, you still have not gotten stopped up yet because you place your stop loss based on market structure. But what you can do is to move your stop loss to make this like a risk-free trade right so what i will do is that i want to wait for price to create like a little lower high right here and then this is when i'll move my stop loss from here all the way up to this right here this is the because this is the new lower high right you want to move your stop loss into profit so the worst case scenario is that if we get stopped out guess what we break even so we still wait for price to create your lower high first okay 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 Okay, right here you can see this is your new lower high already. So what I'll do is I'll place my new stop loss right here. I mean, I'll move my stop loss right here. What am I saying? I'll move my stop loss from here, right here. It was originally up here at this 1.22 level. I'm going to move it to this level, 1.219 level. So right now, stop loss will be right here. And guess what? If you lose this trade, if you get stopped out, you are actually break even you don't even lose any money how mad is that bro you don't even lose money so the reason why we do this is because we always want to make sure like we preserve our capital we want to preserve our money right as traders we want to reduce our risk as much as possible and also why we place it right here instead of like some random place is because this is the new lower high and the price will respect market structure what i mean by that is that price won't like go up and then break this like last lower high and then continue going down no price won't do that price will respect market structure so price will have to create the lower high to continue going down in this downtrend and if you move your stop loss at like some random point like right here guess what you're gonna get stopped out man and you do not want to do that all right you always want to wait for price to create your new lower high create structure first then you move your stop loss so that it become a risk-free trade 
Say it with me, race free trade. So yup, now your stop loss is right here and let's just continue and see. Okay, you can see price just collapsed and now we are like way into profit. So at this point, if I'm using like a one lot size, I'm probably making like, I don't know, $1,000. I'm not even sure. But basically you are in a way a lot of profit. And guess what? The worst case scenario is you get stopped out and you break even. So at this point of time, you can consider scaling in. Actually, not at this point of time, right here. Right here, when price created your new lower high right here, right? This is when you can consider scaling in. So what I mean by scaling in is that you can add another position on top of the first trade that you have. So right here, you enter for one sell position. So at this area here, you can enter for another sell position right here, right? You see some sort of moving average crossover on the 15 minute time frame right here. You can see the moving average crossover right here. You can enter for another sell position. So now you have not one, but two sell position going into your take profit. This means you can potentially like double your profit, double the amount of money that you can potentially make on this one nice trade. So you place your stop loss above here and now same thing, take profit, I'll take profit all the way down here. So now we got two trades running to our overall take profit, which is way down here. And the reason why we consider scaling in is because like, if this actually go down as we plan, we not only make money on one trade, we make money on two trades. So we can literally get double the amount of profit. Yep, so now let's see what happens next. Now that we have our two sell position in place and you can see price go down. Okay, right here, price created a new lower high, guys. Guys, this is when price created a new lower high. Right here, this is when price created a new lower high, right? So the reason why this is a low high is because this high right here is lower than this high. And this one is lower than this one. So what do you do next? Same exact thing. Keep on moving your stop loss. So now your stop loss was right here, right? Now it become right here. So now your new stop loss will be right here. So the first trade, you move your stop loss to right here. And then your second trade, you also move your stop loss right here. And guess what? If you get stopped out on the first trade, you still make profit. Because right now we are in the profit zone. And then if you get stopped out in the second trade, guess what? You actually break even. How mad is that? So now, both of your trades are freaking risk-free, man. So if you lose, guess what? You actually break even or you are actually still in profits. Yep, so we'll move all both of our stop loss right here to this new lower high. And at this point of time, what you can do is that, yep, you can consider scaling into another short position. Enter for another sell position right here. And now you have three trades. Not one, not two, but three trades running to your take profit. How mad is that? I know I keep saying how mad is that because this is really madness. Once you get this concept in your trading journey, it's gonna change your trading forever, man. Yep, so same thing, this stop loss, you can place it above this lower high, take profit at this major key level. Now we got three trades running all the way down to our take profit. And at this point of time, this is the most satisfying thing ever. You see all three trades of yours go down to the take profit. As simple as that. But don't worry if you still do not get it. I'm going to show you one more example. Now that you have closed these three trades, the next thing you want to do is to wait for the next opportunity. So right now, price is at this support, which means that price can potentially reverse, right? Because this is a very strong support area. So what we can do is that we can draw a box once again right here because this is a giant consolidation that I hate. All right, I do not like consolidation. So at this point of time, you want to wait for price to create higher low. So in the uptrend, it's basically like the opposite of what I've just showed you. So at this point of time, we wait for price to create a higher low. So over here, it's just going sideways, 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 sideways. But then look at what happened right here. This is when price create a low that is higher than all of this low. So this tells us that, okay, maybe price is about to explode and head up, right? So what you can do is that you can enter for a buy position somewhere around here when you have your three confluences, moving average crossover, whatever, all of that stuff. And then you place your stop loss below this last higher low. And then you place your take profit all the way up at this next resistance area. And where is the next resistance area? All the way up here, the red color zone that we have drawn all the way up here. Now, this is a beautiful sniper entry. Look at this. Like price literally went all the way up there. That is so crazy. Like price went all the way up here and now it's creating a new higher low, right? Whenever price creates a new higher low, remember you have to do two things. Either move your stop loss into profit. So right now, this is your first stop loss. You can move your first stop loss to right here, right? Right here. And when price is right here, 
you can consider scaling in into another trade so you can enter for a buy position when price is this bullish engulfing candlestick big fat green candlestick and please just stop loss below here and take profit all the way up here now you have not one but two trades going into your take profit and you have make a banger on this one big trend direction so if you want to get an entry that gives you like an insane risk to reward ratio like 1 is to 5 1 is to 10 1 is to 15 even you must be aggressive you must be so aggressive so a lot of people are really afraid to get in and that's what stops them from making money so this sniper entry aggression that we do here is the difference between making $500 and making $5,000. Yup, it's a super big difference if you get in right here compared to if you get in right here. Huge difference, guys. If you want to see a part 2, make sure you comment down below and smash that like button. And hit on the subscribe button and the freaking bell beside it. I really do think that sniper entries is one of the most important things that you must master in trading that is why make sure you comment and like on this video so that i can release a part two so that it will motivate me to release a part two all right so welcome to the tribe and remember you're just one trade away Mwah.